selling tricks to make your next project seamless, I tell you, is ah. Orly, Ooh. right? Seamless. Sewing hacks. Yeah. These are really useful, like crazy useful. When we started talking about them today, everyone was so excited because they're so simple things you have around the house and they really make a huge difference. Okay, he's the only one here who really knows how to use a sewing right. machine. He's gonna he has love no this. idea. I'm very curious. He has no idea what's happening My here. My Kenneth so. and Garneth is going to love it. Yeah, <laughs> love this. Yeah. All right, start, start with you. Okay, so do you see this fancy schmancy bobbin holder? Yeah. Right? Just like it it holds bobbin. all the bobbins. Everything is yeah. nice and organized. Nice. It's really fancy. Yeah. Um, what, per se, do you think that might be? That is for your toes. That Orly. is for your toes. That Debbie. is when you what? go get a pedicure, Orly. I Thank when you. I first came up and I said, "What are these things doing here?" I go, "Oh yep. my gosh!" Little toe hysterical. separators. Oh. These things yep. cost absolutely nothing. You can even get them for free, and you just pop these suckers in, and they hold everything in place. They even prevent them from the thread from unraveling. Yep, and you can even see yeah. how much you have left, what needs to be refilled. It prevents the color smearing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. I think. All right. Well, well, my prediction. Yeah. My prediction. We will watch Ken's mind explode on this next one. This is so good. Explosion. Okay, seam allowance on the sewing machine is very important. Yes, yeah. it because is. Because that's how we can obviously, according to our pattern, we create proper seam allowance, everything fits properly. But it's normally these really tiny, dainty little lines that you can barely see right there. See those little grooves? And they're in this short little space right there. By putting rubber bands right along whichever seam allowance you're using, not only can you see it, you can see it wrapping all the way around when you feed your fabric in, and it actually acts as like a ridge. So it prevents so your guide. fabric from sliding it. The rubber holds it in place. Ken! Are you going to cry? <laughs> I know! First of all, I didn't way. even know what those little lines were for. <laughs> <laughs> all of my seam allowances are exactly the width of the foot of the thing, because that's all I use was a foot of the thing. This is no, like, but and the fact you can see it as the fabric's all coming, the so you don't get back. all. Exactly. What I don't understand is why someone hasn't just made this built in on a sewing machine I yet. I know, it's crazy. It doesn't make sense. It's crazy, but just regular Mr. Singer household. is at home making notes yeah. right now. <laughs> regular household rubber bands work perfect. That's okay. Now, the next thing is we all have our pins. These are super important important anytime you're sewing, yes. obviously holding fabric together, holding your pattern pieces together. Do you have a and pin cushion Some people have pin cushions. pin cushions. Pin The magnetic ones, one. yeah, the magnetic ones are my favorite because they're really easy cleanup. So what I did is I just took a dish. Look at that. Is that amazing? Uh, hold Wait. It. Uh, Nothing, nothing's falling off. These are just magnets that I bought in hot glue to the back of a regular dish. Such now a I've got idea. a magnetic pin Wait, cushion. Put them, on, put them on the table. Put them on the table. Oh, yeah. Put them on the table. What's that, Orly? Did you make a mess? Oh, I'll clean it up clean for you. Clean it I'll all clean up. It up for you. There we go. We and then it holds. Oh, wow. That's actually nice because the ones where you push in, yeah. you kind of have to think about it because right. you, like, you go to push it in, yeah. you hit another pin, then exactly. you just drop it. You just drop yeah. them on, it collects them all in place. Them. It makes for super easy cleanup. And you this can make it super cute depending upon the Exactly. A little. Oh, you already want to make it look pretty, aren't you? Okay. Now, the next thing is threading a needle. You have to thread your needle whether you're hand sewing, whether you're using a sewing machine. And sometimes, it's got like a fuzzy little end, and it uh, doesn't want right. to go and in, you right? To, so yeah. you gotta lick it. So there's two things yeah. that make it super easy. One is use your fabric scissors to cut a clean, crisp edge. Okay. Once right it's clean and crisp, you can either try the licking technique, yeah. you're still having a hard time, a little bit of hairspray. Not only Way prevents better. it from fraying, makes it hard. but it makes it stiff. So you can hold it, and it's not going to go limp. It's going to the. It's going to go. Finally, right. something yeah. to do with all that hairspray I've been holding on to it. Thank you. Well, to do with it. Thank you. Okay. Know what? It's okay. I'm glad you kept I've it for learned. the last 20 years because. <laughs> also, what helps too, I've learned. Having your readers on when no, you're trying to even, you know, yeah. even, it, it doesn't see. matter. It doesn't even with your glasses, can't. you're like this. It can oh feel, so, and some threads are just more finicky than others. The but stiffness is good because even with, without it, when yeah. you tried it, then it like turns. Exactly. Yeah, it's actually great. So it's, oh, it's, it's a great worst. one. Yeah. Now, once you get your needle threaded, and let's say you want to hand sew, when you're doing hand stitches, no matter how perfect you are, sometimes it still looks like a hand stitch. They're not perfectly separated there. Yeah. You know, one is a little bit more larger than the other. So on your finger, create a little guide. Over here, you're gonna see I just did it with a Sharpie and this is how far apart I want my seams, my stitches rather. So I'm gonna come up right where my finger is and my next stitch is going to come That's up good idea. in the next that spot. Is so brilliant. now as I go, I just keep moving my finger That's a over good idea. and they're exactly you, the same. But it's Ten. such a good idea. That's good. Okay. But then you do chalk marks on it. You still have the chalk marks on the fabric, yep. the ruler, because yep. it moves. Plus, this looks like, I don't know, like I'm like real fancy. Right. Okay. Right. All right. All right. Like that was good. Speaking Thank of honestly. on the ruler. Yeah. Okay. When you get your fabric cut at, a, at Joann's, at any fabric right. store, they always have the fancy cutting table. Right. Yeah. And they and put they the put, fabric out and, and they look enough. at it, right? They've got their thing. Yeah. To make That's your own fancy cutting table, all you need is to take your measuring tape, some double stick tape, 
and attach it to the end. Now, when you're working on your cutting table, your cutting pieces, patterns, you automatically have a ruler. You don't need to. You don't have this extra have it stick. Around like, or you yes. can't, you find, can't it. find it. And this is here. And if you decide you want to take it off, you need it for something else, change tables. It's just attached with double stick tape. It comes right off. Right. Orly. Your Toast tips. Brills. I will say. Your tips Toast have helped brills. us brills. So, it's so good. much. I, so, so much. Fantastic. But I will say, out of all of these, uh -oh. this one measures up the oh. most. See, he had to outdo me. He had to one up me when I did this so much, but he had to have his you know, joke. It up. It's competitive. Right? Lee Wise yeah. sings another great song <laughs> for his new album, Paranoia, <laughs> and this time in person. Do you know what I like to say to his really? joke? So what? So.